Hi everybody, it's John Bard, Managing Editor of Children's Book Insider, the newsletter for children's writers, and Fighting Bookworm in Chief at the CBI Clubhouse, which is the community just for children's book writers. At the CBI Clubhouse, you'll find lots of articles, of course our famous newsletter, Children's Book Insider, videos, updates about where editors are, opportunities to get published, an entire free writing course called the CBI Challenge, interviews with hot authors like Caleb Nation and Laura Rennert, and much, 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 much more. So head on by the CBI Clubhouse and check it out. Today, how to find the right publisher for your book. Editors always plead with authors to research the market before submitting manuscripts. This makes sense. It cuts down on the number of inappropriate submissions an editor might receive and presumably will lower the chance of a manuscript getting rejected. But how exactly does one research a market that produces thousands of new products every year? We suggest a systematic three-part approach which works for book and magazine publishers. It involves studying a publisher's overall list, individual books or magazine issues, and their writer's guidelines. It doesn't really matter which part you do first, as long as you cover all three. Overall lists. Book publishers have two lists, spring and fall. A magazine's list is comprised of a year's worth of issues. To get a sense of what each publisher does, read industry newsletters such as our own Children's Book Insider, attend writers' conferences, and consult Children's Writers and Illustrators Market, a directory published annually by Writers Digest Books. Note which publishers cater to the audience for whom you want to write, both in age group and subject matter. Send for those publishers' catalogs, typically free for a 9 by 12 self-addressed stamped envelope with two to four first-class stamps. Bigger publishers mean bigger catalogs, so always put some extra stamps in if it's a larger publisher. Now, many of these catalogs are also available in PDF format by visiting the websites, so if you don't mind looking at something online or printing it off, check out the websites first before you send away for the catalog. For magazines, take a look online or pick up the most recent issue and study back issues at the library. Now, what if you receive several catalogs from large publishers and they all seem to look the same? Then it's time to read the fine print and find the differences. Does HarperCollins seem to have an abundance of fiction picture books for ages 5 to 8? then they might not be buying much for this age group for the next couple of years. Has another publisher just debuted a line of nonfiction chapter books? Perhaps your chapter book on whales is exactly what they need. Do certain publishing giants tend to repackage classics from known authors rather than books from new authors? Pick another publisher who isn't afraid to feature new talent. Narrow down your number of potential markets. Individual books or magazine issues. Go to a bookstore or library and actually hold books from your potential publishers in your hands. Look at the vocabulary and sentence structure, the style of writing, the pacing of picture book stories. For magazines, note the length and subject matter of fiction and the slants on nonfiction topics. Though you don't want your book to be just like someone else's, it must fit in with the overall taste of the editors from each company and the general tone of a publisher's list. Narrow down your markets one more time. Writer's Guidelines Lots of writer's guidelines are available online as part of publishers' websites, or again you could send a self-addressed stamped envelope to each publisher asking for these guidelines. Follow the submissions procedures in the guidelines exactly. If you submit a manuscript or query letter more than a month after receiving guidelines, call the publisher to verify that they are still open to submissions. A month can sometimes be an eternity in the publishing world. Once your manuscript is in the mail, try to put it out of your mind and start writing something else. And be assured that all your research means your work is most likely headed to where it will be eagerly read. Again, for much more information about writing children's books, come and visit us and hang with the fighting bookworms at the CBI Clubhouse. We are at cbiclubhouse.com. We're looking forward to seeing you there. Until next time, this is John Bard reminding you, keep writing.